In the lecture examples for prepaid taxes, you will see that there is a set of special tax tables that I've used and tax rates. There's this important note at the beginning of the document. These tax rates and tax tables are not the correct tax rates and tax tables. These are ones that I've invented. They work in exactly the same way as normal tax tables work. And the reason why I've included it here is just to illustrate the examples and how the principles work. Please, guys, you obviously will not have this in the exam, so don't go and study and try and memorize this. It's just for the sake of example here. You need to study the principle. You never study, in any case, when you're studying tax, you never study these tax tables to try and memorize it. You never do that. That's crazy. Um, you will always in the exam have to use the latest Saka student handbook will have the rates. If you don't have the latest Saka student handbook, you will also find in the exam that they will provide you with a schedule or a set of notes that contains the tax tables and the relevant materials you should use. You always use what they give you in the exam or what's in your Saka student handbook, but use the information that they give you in the exam, it's even easier. Don't try and memorize tax rates, guys. You memorize things such as capital allowances, 5% capital allowance, and so forth. We don't memorize things like tax tables and rebates and so forth. We just know how to apply it because the principles are important. And in the exam, you just use the correct amounts.